Well hello YouTube humans and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am sat here completely makeup free as you can see um, but I wanted to talk to you about some products that have frankly transformed my skin over the past kind of I want to say like 18 months of consistent use. Um, I want to apologise if you can hear traffic noise and all sorts of bits and bobs. There is a start of a storm happening and the traffic is being a bit bananas today. But you know, considering what my skin looked like probably 18 months ago, the fact that it looks, it's not perfect. I do still have blemishes, like little marks around my chin. I do have, I do still on occasion suffer with blackheads and breakouts but these products have definitely helped to minimize that and frankly have been my skincare saviors over the past 18 months so I'll go in order of use I suppose rather than application because they're not all topical products and the first thing that I'm gonna start with is this cleansing brush to anybody that has seen any sort of cleansing brushes before this is gonna look very familiar this is basically a complete ripoff of the Foreo Luna mini um, however, this is not the Foreo Luna Mini. I paid, I think, £9 for this off of Amazon. Um, it's got a magnetic charging port at the bottom, comes with a cable. I'll link it or an equivalent one down below in the description box. And it's got these really soft um, silicon bristles, which means you don't need to worry about changing heads. It's completely clean and hygienic. You don't need to worry about replacing anything. So basically, this is the unit and that's it. I've charged it once and I have used it every day for the past month. Um, it's still hasn't i use it twice a day still hasn't run out of charge yet off of one charge i use it in the shower out with the shower it's completely waterproof it doesn't matter and um, basically it has three modes so you hold it on and it starts buzzing you press the little power button again and it does an even more intense version and then you press the power button again and it does pulsating and it has little lights to tell you um that's the charging lights as well so it lets you know when it's full battery and lets you know what mode you're on Honestly, I didn't I didn't leave cleansing brush hype. I didn't think that anything like this could actually do anything helpful for my skin, really at all. And then I tried it and I had to eat a slice of humble pie because I was completely wrong. I am kind of last day of period heading into first day of like um, after period. And normally at this point, my skin would look horrendous but in combination with these other products and it doesn't matter what cleanser i use with this i can use literally anything with this it doesn't matter um i my face would be looking terrible right now and it doesn't i haven't had i had one spot this cycle that's it one and it was like on the underneath of my chin that was it and normally I'd be battling them for like a week and a half after my period and I've not had to struggle with that at all which is just frankly remarkable for my skin so this has definitely played a massive part I feel that my skin generally is a lot softer a lot smoother I'm not getting as many blackheads as I used to um, and it's honestly one of the best things that I've ever bought next to, for me in terms of application this is something that I only use in the morning but I have been consistently using a product of this type for about 18 months and I feel that with consistent use it has really helped my skin so these are acid toners I have two here to show you today however the one that I generally use on a day-to-day -day basis I don't actually have so I'm trying to work my way through my inordinate stash of products one of the first ones I have to show you here is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Day Daily AHA tonic and I also have the you can't even see that because the bottles clear take it from word this is the boost ingredients glycolic acid toner the one that I generally actually tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis and have been using pretty consistently until I bought well this one I got in I think the cult beauty no this was the boots best in beauty box I'm sure um, I have been using the ordinary 7% glycolic, uh, glycolic acid toner, which I think is more than this one, but I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. Um, I did try the Pixi, I did try the Pixi Glow Tonic. I didn't get on with it particularly well, um, which is why I gave it away from my Best in Beauty box that I did an unboxing of not that long ago. Um, I have tried the large version of the Ren. And I've been using the Boots Glycolic Acid one for probably about a week now and I've not had a 
massive reaction to it. So basically what a acid toner does, it's got normally AHA, sometimes BHAs in it as well, which are alpha and beta hydroxy um, acids. And basically what they do is they dissolve they dissolve the bonds between the dead skin so basically you can um, remove it either when you're going around with a cotton pad or with a scrub or when you're washing or whatever so basically it's a gentler way of exfoliating your face and as a, because it's more gentle you can therefore do it more often which if you are an oily skinned person is much more beneficial in terms of skin maintenance and keeping your skin healthy and happy I only use this once a day I use this once a day every morning so once I get out of the shower and I've used my cleansing brush, I will then either put this on a cotton pad, sweep it across my face, or I've got a spray bottle and sometimes I just spray it across my face and leave it to kind of do its work and then wipe off the excess again with um, a cotton pad. I have found that for the 18 months I've been using this, I have had a lot less blackheads. I find that the acetone is really good with that. And when I do have a breakout, because I am doing that gentler exfoliation, the breakout tends to resolve itself more quickly than it would otherwise it also helps with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is basically that annoying red mark that you're left with after you do have a spot i've got a few resting on my chin at the moment you can't see them but uh they are there trust me um they help with the exfoliation to kind of reduce the appearance of that mark with continued use so definitely that is something that i'll be continuing to use in my skincare routine frankly until my skin says no you can't you can't use it anymore and goes bananas something that i discovered this year and it took, the fact that it took me this long to discover it is actually quite laughable it's just a hyaluronic acid serum or in this case the moisturizer it's ingredients hyaluronic acid moisturizer and i have the same in a serum as well i do prefer the serum this i use when i'm going to the gym and i've got to go to work afterwards because it's less products that i need to carry around um and i'll explain why I only use this for the gym later. Um, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, I just apply a couple of pumps into my hand and I basically sweep it across my entire face and down my neck. I discovered this because I had a really, and I mean such a bad reaction, to a face mask that I had been using, I want to say back in like April, and my skin was so dry, so red, so tight, and I'd never experienced anything like that before. And one of my friends recommended Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I thought, fuck it why not um because it's from the boots ingredients range i did get a decent discount off it from working from boots i tried it and within two days my skin was completely back to normal and i have never looked back since common myth busting here if you have oily skin you do still need to moisturize and i moisturize in multiple layers as you will see this is the first step i do use this twice a day i find that my skin generally just looks healthier i get a lot less dry patches i get a lot less breakouts my skin seems less oily when i use this product and frankly it has completely changed my life i haven't tried any other hyaluronic acid serum so if there are ones that you think are better and you think is going to be more suitable for me let me know in the comment section down below on the same kind of wavelength because of the reaction that i had round my eyes got really dry and crusty and horrible and it was at that point that i started using eye cream so here i have the soap and glory puffy eye attack here and then i have the inky list caffeine eye cream here um both of these i love and i use the puffy eye attack i use at night and the caffeine eye cream i use in the morning because who doesn't need a little bit of wake me up in the morning um uh, these are both really hydrating really nice like kind of almost like occlusive products around the eye area but they sink in really well um i just apply them basically quite liberally around that area because i do suffer sometimes with like eczema on my eyelids and um kind of just general irritation in that area and i have not had a single reaction to these products and i've not had a breakout of eczema in that area in the entire time that i've been using those um i absolutely love them i do love the estee order the estee lauder eye matrix concentrated eye matrix that's like holy grail but it's really expensive so i mean can't really say no it's like i think it's eight quid i think that is so good um a product that i've spoken about a lot on my channel actually and i've actually got quite a few people that i work with onto this this is the ordinary niacinamide and zinc solution uh, this is the big like 60 mil daddy size and you can't really see but I'm down to here on this which means I've pitched it really well. When I went to London last year, around about this time last year, I bought four bottles, four of the large bottles and 
I've just about finished the fourth bottle. So I managed to get a whole year's supply when I was down in London last year. Um, I love that. I love this stuff. Um, it is quite a tricky formula. It can foam, it can pill, it can be really awkward on your skin. However, it is the best one that I've found because it has a combination of the niacinamide and the zinc in it. Most of the preparations that I've tried before haven't had that zinc element and that's the one that I think makes a difference. So niacinamide is version of vitamin B, it's really good for helping to control sebum production, really good for helping with pigmentation, it's just an all round like belter of a skincare ingredient. And then zinc is a natural antibacterial agent, so it helps to fight the bacteria that um, produce acne and generally just help to keep your skin barrier function really really well maintained. I use that twice a day, morning and evening, after I've applied my hyaluronic acid serum and I just leave it to like almost set, it doesn't set, leave it to sink in dry, do its thing. I, for reference, this is the size of the pipette and I wouldn't even apply that much. Like I'd apply like maybe a third of a pipette and I'd just sweep that across my face, which is what I've done today. And yeah, I'm looking all right, I'm looking okay. Um, I think it has massively helped with the oiliness of my skin and helped with the amount of breakouts that I get. It's kept my skin really happy and just really kind of level, which is something that it's taken me over 10 years to get that in my skincare routine. But I finally managed it thank god um and then finally the last thing that has changed my single-handedly changed not single-handedly um that has changed my face is spf consistent spf usage on a day-to-day -day basis i don't have the one that i normally use on a day-to-day -day basis because it's upstairs and it's nearly finished however generally speaking i do like to have a SPF included within my moisturizer which is why I don't tend to use the hyaluronic acid moisturizer because then I'm you know applying to lots of moisturizer and it can get a bit much on my skin particularly with the hyaluronic acid serum in there as well um, two of my favorite um, SPFs at the moment um, glory make yourself youthful sun shield super fluid and this is in an SPF 50 and then we have the Bioderma Photoderm Max SPF 50 Plus. Both of these I love. This one is slightly more moisturizing and has a slight peachier tint to it. This one is a dry touch matte finish. This one I use more so in winter because it's a little bit more hydrating. This one is what I use in summer. Uh, day to day though, however, if I am not going to be going outside, I use, I'll put a picture of it on screen somewhere, I use the Your Good Skin SPF 30 Antioxidant Moisturiser, which is what I have on today, because I haven't gone outside today, but I am still sat in front of a window and the sun can still get you. I find that, weirdly, um, I've had less breakouts since I've been wearing SPF consistently. My skin has been a lot more even. I haven't had as many pigmentation issues. Um, my skin just seems really happy with those formulations of SPF. Can't really complain, to be honest, at all with how they've performed on my skin. And all these like all these products together as a combination, as part of my skincare routine, I have really seen a difference in my skin over the past two months specifically since i started implementing the cleansing brush but every single product on their own has i've seen an improvement on my skin and i've been using variants of some of these products for like 18 months now in terms of my skincare routine i would say consistency is key i maybe in the last two three years maybe in two years i think i've missed four sessions of skincare um, at all. I think I've missed four and two days after I've missed those sessions, my skin's been shit. So I don't care how hungover I am, how drunk I am, how tired I am, I don't care how long the day's been, the one thing that I will do is I will make sure I do my skincare routine. Um, for me, cleanser is not something I spend money on. Um, I, You'll see I haven't included any cleansers of any kind in here because I don't, a cleanser doesn't sit long enough on my face to have any impact, so there's no point in me getting one with actives in it or any sort of special garbage. I need it to take my makeup off and that's it. Um, or I need it to cleanse my face and that's it. So I don't have any cleanser recommendations for you. I, they, to me, they are all much of a muchness. Um, 
in terms of a lot of the only thing that I have started spending money on is my moisturizer to get the better formulation with the SPF because that's something that stays on my face and I want it to do its job properly um, but I haven't found one that's like exactly hit the money yet but yeah all the products that I've mentioned will be linked down below in the description box for you if I can find them. If I can't, they will be the nearest and dearest equivalents to them. Uh, let me know what products have transformed your skin. Um, dry, oily, it doesn't matter what skin type because I want to know what it is um, that has helped your skin. Get a little conversation going down in the comments. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And give this video a big thumbs up so more people can find it. And other than that, I'll see you next time guys. Bye!